Hi everyone, this is a Barney story. It's written by Stephen Wright and it's illustrated by Darren McGee and Bill Elgar and it's called A Tent Too Full. One summer day, Barney and Baby Bop went camping. I want to see lots of animals, said Baby Bop. Oh, you will, said Barney. This forest is their home. And I want to sleep in a real tent, said Baby Bop. Barney said, I know. That's why we bought a tent that is just the right size for two dinosaurs. Later, Barney and Baby Bop had fun taking a nature walk. A warm breeze blew through the leaves on the trees and made the wildflowers dance. That night, they made a campfire and ate roasty, toasty marshmallows. Baby Bop had still not seen any forest animals. Maybe tomorrow, Barney said. Soon, the sound of crickets told Barney and Baby Bop that it was bedtime. They brushed their teeth and put on their pyjamas. And as Barney put out the campfire, Baby Bop felt a drop of water. <gasps> and then another, and another. Don't worry about the rain, said Barney. We'll be warm and dry in our tent. Barney and Baby Bop listened to the rain make pit-pat, split-splat sounds on the tent. Then they heard a new sound. A tiny voice said, May I please come in? It was a little wet firefly. If you let me share your dry tent, I can share my light with you, he said. Of course we'll share our tent, Barney said. Come on in. Before long, a mother opossum and her babies were at the door. If you let us share your dry tent, she said, I can share the lullabies I sing for my babies. Oh yes, said Baby Bob. Come on in. Next, a brown beaver came to visit. With my strong teeth, I can chew wood, he said. If you let me share your dry tent, I can share some wood for your campfire. Barney said, come on in. Hello, said a large moose. If you let me share your tent, I can share my antlers. They're great for hanging things on. Barney said, come on in. Next, a fox came. If you let me share your dry tent, I can share the secret of where to find the tastiest berries in the forest. Everyone was glad to say, come on in. Suddenly an owl fluttered in. Woohoo, called the owl. If you let me share your dry tent, I can share my strong voice. If anyone comes to your door, I can ask, Baby Bob said, come on in. Wow, said Barney. I think there is someone else at the door. Who, who is there? asked the owl. Just me, said a brown bear. If you let me share your dry tent, I can share my warm fur to keep everyone snuggly. We'll be happy to share, said Barney. Everyone bunched and scrunched to make more room. The bear squeezed and squirmed and twisted and turned. Finally, everyone was inside the warm, dry tent. I don't think there's room for even one more friend, <sighs> said a sleepy baby Bob. And then there was a small voice at the door. May I please come in? It was a young raccoon with a black mask over her eyes. Barney asked, Are you all wet too? No, replied the raccoon. I'm not wet. The rain has stopped, but I'm lonely. All the forest animals are gone. No, they aren't, laughed Barney. They are just waiting for the rain to stop. Out tumbled the bear and the owl and the fox and the moose and the beaver and the mother opossum and her babies and finally the tiny firefly. And that night all the forest animals 
slept outside under a starry sky. And Barney and Baby Bop slept in a real tent that was just the right size for two dinosaurs. Goodbye.